resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Hello, my little friends. Super happy to be here in this podcast today because I have a guest and with me is Marilyn Artis. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Hi. Glad to be here. Are you ready to take us to the next level? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I think you are the right person to help us out today and taking us all to the next level with an amazing project that you have that's called Her Flag, which we're, gonna about, we're about to hear more about it and learn more about what you do as an artist. So thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, glad to be here. Marilyn, for our friends here who do not know, uh, know you, uh, you are an artist. Uh, tell us a little, kind of a little bit of what is it that you do as, a, as an artist first. Okay. Um, I am a mixed media artist, so I do a lot of um, unique, different techniques and mix them all together. So I do a lot of sewing and on unusual materials such as plastic and vintage paper and um, d just do funky things with, um, with weird techniques and try and push sewing into a, uh, and fiber art into a kind of a weirder, more unique place. Here we call it into the next level. <laughs> right. That's, that's awesome. And now where are you located at? Where is your studio practicing? I am in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, right smack dab in the middle of the country. Okay, wonderful. And now I know because you just told me right before this episode that you're actually not in Oklahoma right now. You're going to tell us where you're at because it all relates to this big project that's called Her Flag. Uh, can you give us a, in a few sentences, what is that project Her Flag? Yeah, so the 100th anniversary of the passing of the 19th Amendment um, is in 2020. And I'm a little bit of a suffrage history nerd. I love that era uh, when... Uh, Many, many people in the United States were fighting to get voting for women in the United States. So as soon as I realized that 100th anniversary was coming up, I wanted to do something. And it took 36 states to ratify the 19th Amendment. And I'm partnering with a woman artist in all 36 states that ratified. And we're going to create a flag, except a huge flag with 36 stripes, one for each of the ratifying states. Wow. It's 18 feet. 18 feet by 26 feet. So really big project. And I'm traveling over 14 months, 17 separate trips to make this flag. And we're going to do public performances in each capital city where we'll sew it right there. So it's, um, yeah, it's a big, 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 fabulous celebratory project. All right. So tell us a little bit about why, you know, where you are at and why you're there. So uh, right now I am in uh, Vegas and Nevada and I'm in the studio of the artist that's going to be representing Nevada when in the Her Flag Project, which is Lisa Jean Allswede. And she's actually right over here doing her own thing. So, uh, okay. but yeah, I'm here in her studio and actually give you a little, little visual aid. Oh, please do. I would love visual aids. There we go. Wow. Actually part of the artwork for her stripe representing wow. nevada so that's yeah awesome <laughs> that is fabulous yeah. so this uh as you go to each of these states and you meet with each of the artists do you already know what kind of you know the type of imagery the artists are working at do you have some do you provide some guidance for them how does that work because you're collaborating with a lot of people yes yeah <laughs> yes, I gave them parameters and um, they actually just had a deadline for sketches. So I've seen all of their sketches. Okay. And I uh, okay. got to give feedback. And so I'm really starting to visualize, you know, what the final piece is going to look like. So it's getting exciting. That's very cool. And how did you go about selecting one women artist from each of those states? Because that must have been also a very difficult thing. You know, you have this idea, you know, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Now I have to go and search. How do. You know, how did you find each of the artists? Yeah, it was a, it was a tough, pro, you know, tough selection process because we had over 340 artists apply and wow. you know, obviously we were only going to pick 36. Um, we use the cafe platform, which okay. is a great platform um, right. for artist calls. So we use that and uh, we contacted every single arts council in all those 36 states and, mm -hmm. and had them help you know, as long as well as our social media presence to help drive, you know, mm -hmm. the people learning about it and, and, right. and why. And that's one of the things that I love about Cafe and many other platforms like that, because there are a lot of projects kind of like you that are not the typical, 
you know, a call for artists for a big show and then, you know, hundreds of people enter and just a few get in, but, and it's just a show or, or you know, but yours is a very specific kind of a out of the ordinary project. Yeah. And <laughs> I love that you use cafe to, you know, as, as a platform to find the artists who are already there looking for opportunities and so on. Yeah. I yeah. think that is, that is wonderful. So now tell us a little bit about then, uh, which I'm pretty excited to, to hear about. So, so how does the journey begins of kind of going, which state goes first and then the next and how do you put it all together? Yeah. So I'm traveling in order of ratification. Okay. And, uh, so I have a question for you. Which state do you think was the first to ratify? Oh, that's a good question. Oh my goodness. My art history skills here. Uh, I would, I would say, uh, let's see, I don't know. Let's say, uh, California. <laughs> Just yeah was Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin right next door to me. Oh, my goodness. Way to go, Wisconsin. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Yeah, they were, Illinois and Wisconsin were right neck and neck. And um, I should have said Illinois. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm going to Wisconsin. Thank goodness I'm going in the summer uh, to Wisconsin. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you missed the vortex just for a few months. <laughs> that is great. And so, so then how that goes? Yeah, so I travel, you know, in order, Wisconsin being the first, and uh, it makes the journey a little wacky doing um, it in order, because at one point, yeah. um, New Hampshire passes the amendment, and then California passes oh, the amendment. Oh, wow, okay. So I go, obviously go to Maine and New Hampshire and come home, and then the next trip uh, go to uh, wow. California. So it's not exactly a road trip <laughs> because you have to go it's side by side. Solid, yeah. It's 17 separate trips over those 14 months. So yeah. So what's the plan? So let's say you arrive to a particular state and then you meet with the artists and what do you do? So we have a public performance somewhere in the capital city. So they're all in the capital cities. And a lot of the states, you know, the capital city isn't mm -hmm. the most um, <laughs> populated or the biggest. So it's kind of a, a fun uh, yeah go to these cities that I probably would never go to. But we go in and uh, I settle in a little and then the next day we do the performance which is going to be in all different public locations. Okay. And um, so I will receive the stripe from the artist. So it right there, we'll have a female performer. Um, we'll probably talk about a little bit of the state history. We're, um, we're going to have League of Women Voters there doing their thing. Um, talking about, you know, registering to vote, registering people to vote. So wow. it, it'll be a whole great dog and pony show. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> well, what I love about the project too is that the concept has so many layers. You know, it's the visual of the flag, right? It's the collaboration of all of the artists. It's the performance. It's the, also the community engagement as you go. It's the performances that might happen also along with it. The conversations, the schools, you know, there's so many layers i think that uh that it just makes it such a great idea yeah thank you yeah, yeah. yeah i i worked you know for quite a long time to come up with the idea i didn't rush it and i mm -hmm. i talked to you know curators and other artists and put mm -hmm. panels together people i really respected and just really talked it out great uh, well, you bring this, I think to a really great point which i want to talk about uh, what are some of the some of the things maybe two or three kind of a key component that you think, you know, are were very important for anyone, any artist who may be thinking of a, of a project idea that they have, they, they really wish they could actually, you know, see it come to life, like you have done in your case with such a complex idea. Uh, give us some of the, those kind of key elements that for anyone who's out there, this is a moment you don't want to miss, take a pen, pen or pencil, or write it down on your phone, but if you're driving, don't do it. <laughs> Wait for later. And, uh, you know, give us some of those uh, really nuggets of information because I think they will be priceless. So, I mean, the, like the biggest takeaway is, is collaborating makes your life awesome. Okay. Collaborating with other people mm -hmm. is, is when magic happens in your life. You know, when you sit alone and don't, you know, get out and um, connect with other people, I think you know, you can be in kind of a weird space, but I know for me, it was really important for this project to be a huge collab, you know, collaboration of lots of people. Mm. So I think collaborating is, 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 the, is a big key. And, and I think also when it comes to collaborating, having the right people in the team, right? Having the right people with you, because 
there are, uh, in my experience, there are all kinds of people, right? There are those who would say, yes, you got it, you know, let's do this. And that was who might put doubts on you, who might say, oh, no, this project is too big, it's never going to never take off. You know, tell me a little bit about the selection of your team, of the people that you want to collaborate. What are some of the qualities that you look for? Well, I just thought of something really good that I want to tell you. Let's, um, let's do it. I worked with an art business coach um, for many years, and okay. it was a phenomenal experience. And I highly recommend, and I know you, you know, it's a really great thing. Great. Great. And um, I think when you come up with an idea as big as, as, as mine or any big yeah. idea that you have, in the beginning, there's a time period where you have to protect it. And you can't, um, it, telling other people about it is dangerous in that right. people can derail you. So I think there's a period where you kind of have to protect it and only... Um, only really share it with you people that you know are going to be supportive. Mm -hmm. And I know with this project, there was a moment that I was talking to someone and I had to, I had to just say, you know, you, I, I can't, you know, yeah. I can't do this. You need to, you know, you need to understand I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep my idea safe and not get negative ideas going <laughs> in my head at this point. So I actually did have to stop someone um, really? when the embryonic stages of the project. And that is very important, right? Because that's kind of going deep into that conversation of, of the process of selecting the people that you, in this case, in the early stages, you know, that you want to share this idea. Because everybody, even the people who may have great intention, who are really excited about you, like, oh, yeah, have you thought about this? And now, now like, say, so, yeah, now you start kind of diverging into some other tangents that perhaps are distracting you than keeping you where you want to be. That is, uh, that is great advice. And so my friends, you know, if, check that out. I think that's one of the things that you can do. You know, if you have an idea that you are, you know, waiting to get out in the world. Um, now, when you had that idea, let me kind of also see how you work in that process. Did you start writing down the idea or were you just kind of verbalizing it? Or how did you actually take the idea from your brain into the physical world? Yeah. I, I mean, I use journals because they show, you know, okay. science shows that there's this writing, correlation with your brain that when you actually write out things. So I, I, you know, do this combination of, of course, lots of writing on my computer and social media, but I also have journals that I write out things. And those have been critical to, you know, just keeping me in a, in a certain space with this project and keeping me on track has been actually, you know, having that mind connection with writing it out and looking at it. And look, that's, uh, that's fabulous. Now, I would like to hear also, because uh, I was watching one of the videos and you talk about prior to this collaborative project, there was another project that where you also worked with the flag, right? And that kind of was like the pre-birth of this big hair flag. So tell me a little bit about that and how that kind of turned that idea into this big you know, nationwide collaboration. Sure. I've been using the American flag as a vehicle for exploration for many years now. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, the big project that I worked on was I got invited by a science museum to create uh, to create a piece uh, based around shoes. And, and that was kind of their whole theme was footwear and how it's a part of every culture and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So I invited friends on Facebook to send me photos of their shoes that day. And so I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of of images of shoes and I created this American big, big, big American flag with 364 images of my friend's shoes. <laughs> it was a really fun, I love that project and that project kind of pushed, you know, developed into this even bigger thing. So. Right. And you use social media to invite people to send you the pictures. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Facebook to do that. Facebook. Yeah. Which is, you know, it, in a previous episode, I was talking about, you know, using social media in many of those ways and, yeah, uh, that's great, you know, that you are also using that as a way to engage with the audience and with the public uh, in what you're doing. That's really cool. Uh, so, Marilyn, something that I want to make sure that we share with our friends is how can we help you with a project? I know you, you know, something, an idea like this needs funding, right? It doesn't just, that, that's another big part of the process. You know, how am I going to pay for all this, right? And all the expenses that come with it. So tell me a little bit of that part of the funding and then how can our friends also be part of what you're doing? I did a lot of research on crowdfunding um, mm -hmm. and we have a campaign going right now on ifundwomen.com, which is a new platform, which I'm 
really been delighted with. I know there, are you know, a lot of platforms now, but it's mm -hmm. um, the one we went with and I really, can you like repeat it for me? Can, can you iFundWomen.com. iFundWomen.com. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're actually, um, they're on their homepage for their second project. So we're delighted to be featured on their homepage. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. So we're, we're up and live. The crowdfunding campaign is up until, um, April 8th. Okay. So we have a hundred thousand dollar goal. Every time I say that is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we, um, yeah, we have a big goal cause it's a big project. Right, right. Very cool. And so we invite our friends, if you, you know, after listening to this podcast or to watching Breakfast with Sergio, if you want to also collaborate, please go check it out. Now tell us where can we all find you in all the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, website, and so on. So, I, you know, I'm just an, I, on my regular art social media is just MarilynArtist.com or Marilyn Artists on Instagram and Facebook. And the Her Flag Project is Her Flag 2020 on Instagram and Facebook. Wonderful. Can you uh, spell for our friends who are listening via podcast your last name? It's Artus, A-R-T-U-S. And my first name's Marilyn, M-A-R-I-L-Y-N. Perfect. That's wonderful. That way we can find you everywhere else. Well, Marilyn, I'm so happy that you, you know, took some time to come here with us and uh, breakfast with Sergio and also at the podcast. Um, one last question that I want to ask you is, so once this big flag is done and completed, then what's, what's next? What's going to happen to it? Are you planning to take it on a traveling tour also? Or, uh, you know, yeah, what, we're, we're, we're looking into that. We're looking into that because um, it would be pretty great because a lot of the states won't see it done. Obviously, right. they won't see, you know, it'll only be in Tennessee when we finish. Right. So, um, we're looking at offering the states the flag so that it can come back and, and everyone can see it finished. But we finish um, the flag in August of 2020 before the next presidential election. And we would love to have the flag actually hanging on a building outside in Washington, D.C. when that election is occurring. So the that flag, um, an outdoor UV protected fabric. So it's, oh, okay. you know, it's able to hang outside. Fabulous. That's awesome. Well, that's great. And hopefully from there, it can go to many places. Marilyn, thank you so much for being here. We want to say congratulations on this amazing project. We want to wish you only the best for the, for the uh, project in the future and for all the artists who are working with you as well. Where can we find the names? Are they listed on your website? Yeah, herflag.com has got all the details about the project. And yeah, all the artists are listed there. Okay. And click on their name, you can see their websites and see more about each of them. Absolutely, that's fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Marilyn. Thanks so much for... Uh, joining us today. I want to thank all our friends for watching today. Please share this episode with a friend. This is one of those that you really cannot just watch and go. You have to watch and click share before you go. And Marilyn and I would really appreciate you uh, for doing that. Thank you, my friends. I will see you next time. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.